Welcome to another Fix It Yourself video. So we have another uh, item in the house that's given us a problem here and we need to repair. This is a uh, bathroom single hole lavatory faucet. This one particular one is an Aqua Brass or a Delta uh, Aqua Brass Zune faucet it's called. And it started leaking and it won't stop leaking so I've had to uh, shut off the main supply underneath. Uh, so we just go underneath and then just turn off the uh, shut off the main. That's it. Shut off the main. And now we can uh, remove the handle. To do, remove the handle, we need to uh, get an Allen key. So now we've got our Allen key. This particular one is a 332nd. Um, uh, I think we also need to uh, get a sharp, sharp edge like a like an exacto knife or something because to access the thing you need to kind of just get your knife in here and kind of poke it. I would uh, first things first make sure you cover the faucet so the little parts don't get inside. So there, I've uh, put a, just a towel inside, and what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to. Try to get the knife on there and pop that off. There it goes. It just popped right off. So carefully. That's why I put the towel in here. So grab that, and uh, we'll just kind of save that off to the side here somewhere. And then you need to get your Allen key inside here. Find right where the hole is, and then it's gonna take a bit of force to release it. Okay, there we go. You release it. And then you'll have to turn this enough times that uh, you'll loosen it up, okay? And you'll know once it's loose enough, I think that's it there, it should just slide right off, okay? So that's the uh, top. And then there's the Allen key, so we don't want to lose that. I've pulled it out too far. And that has to go back inside here. Be careful you don't pull it out too far. You have to just kind of thread that back in here. Okay, that's it. I'll get it back in there part way. You don't have to take it all the way off just to remove it. So uh, once you think you got it off far enough and it slips off, then you're good. Now, the problem is somewhere in here, in this thing here, and I don't know. So nor typically these things, yeah, you see this thing here, you just turn it, and that should release the uh, mechanism inside which is seals and, and gives you when you turn it you get the hot and cold and when you uh, go up and down it turns it on and off but somehow it's not turning off so I think either the seals are gone or something's gone inside of that um, and typically you'll need a, like, a pair you can need a, a wrench so I'll just put that on and you can see there's like grooves there's a groove in there where you can see that gives you a hint that that's a place where you can put a wrench. So you can get an adjustable wrench or just a plier like this and then just, just kind of turn it a bit and once you get it going it should come off by hand. And once this come off you should be able to inspect it and it looks like it looks like some plastic parts are all broken on this. Yeah I think that's what there was some parts that came out here when it was leaking so some this thing looks like it's all broken so if I pull this gently I should be able to get oh it's completely broken in there let's see if I can turn it yeah I should be able to pull it out here there we go so now I've got the whole thing out so this is all kind of broken this piece here this assembly you can see part part of it is still stuck in there this is where a pair of needle nose pliers will come in handy. See if we can pull out the rest of that. Okay, so there in there you can see there's a seal, and that's your seal, and that's part of part of this is part of that assembly. And I'll have to get a new a new one of this part. So obviously I gotta see if I can find the part for this. Um, go to the uh, supplier or the uh, manufacturer of this and ask them for the internal parts. They should sell them. 
and once you have the part then you'll be able to uh, simply replace it and just reverse the process and fix your faucet you won't have to buy a brand new faucet and go through sometimes it's easier to repair this than it is to go actually underneath and disconnect all the water connections and everything else but uh, we'll try this and see if we can't get a new part order it or bring it in somehow and uh, and then once the parts here we'll, we'll repair this okay so stay with us So now you can see that the two cartridges are in fact identical. So this one on the left is all broken to pieces. I'll show you how that actually works. But that bottom piece there that you see that was actually stuck in where, where the uh, that black o-ring, that black o-ring was actually stuck inside of here. So I'm just going to show you here. So there's inside the faucet and that was stuck inside when I last left you. So I had to pull that out with a with a, again a needle nose plier. I got that out, and uh, what I can do now is try to show you how this piece actually works. So that's a piece that broke off. This is the uh, this little lever here that goes up and down. I'll show you how it works on the new one. So this is the new one, and just by you know uh, moving that handle on the lever up and down. What that does is it actuates inside, I'll show you on the broken one, what, what actually moves in there. And it actually can turn. You can see here that it can turn. That's how the lever works, you know, where, where you put that lever on the, on the faucet here, the lever you lift it up, and then you can go left and right. So that's how this guy works here. You can, you can lift it up, or this way I guess, to lift it up, and then you can turn it left and right. And what that does inside, let's take a look at, uh, at this piece here. So what I've done here, I put this uh, uh, camera onto a tripod so I could show you. So basically this is the part that broke off. There you can see the lever. What it does is it just moves this thing and, and it can turn this way and it turns this little mechanism in here. And what it does is, let's take this all apart here so you can see all the pieces inside. So this little, this little thing goes inside there. And what it does is by, by moving this, it'll actually move this piece back and forth on here, you see? And what does that do? Well, let's take a look here. There you can see there's a big opening here and the small open, uh, uh, round opening there and the two little slits. What those two slits are are the hot and cold. So the hot and cold that serve, there's the hot and cold service from the hot and cold pipes. One goes in one side, one goes in the other side. They come up this little thing here, up those holes, up through there. And by moving this thing up and down on here, it's turning it on and off, or it's adjusting which side you're gonna get the flow from. So where's the, where's the water gonna come from? It's gonna go into this hole, from either that side or that side. And then it'll go down this hole, and what that does is makes it come out this end, and then on that end is where it actually comes up and down and out, out the faucet hole here. So that's how this little hole mechanism works. I thought I'd take a minute to describe that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this whole cartridge and we're going to put this in here. So uh, obviously this has to go like this where the two holes are going to line up in the two holes that are on the back side here. And I'm going to line that up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of lubricant onto the o-ring. And I think, the, I think the best thing is probably just take some Vaseline and just put a little bit of Vaseline because you know Vaseline is actually it's okay it's not uh, for you I'm not going to put any WD-40 or anything like that you don't want to be drinking that stuff um, so I put a little bit of Vaseline that'll help maybe I'll put a little bit inside here too okay and now I'm going to line this up and if you'll see that you know um, <clears throat> it goes this way and uh, like I said those two holes have to line up on the back and, and then you'll see that there's two little holes in the back of this faucet here. Um, maybe I can show you that. And those little two little things are what cut, uh, clip inside there. So let's take a quick look at that. So there you see the two holes to, uh, 
down. Uh, those are the two holes at the hot and cold surface and then the two upper holes that are farther apart. That's for the, uh, the alignment. So let's put that in exactly as I've shown there. So there you have the part and we're just going to put that in so that those two, one and two, go into those two farther apart holes. I'm going to just put that in, try to line that up and pop that in, okay? So now that we got that lined up, I can feel, you can actually feel where the holes are. So you just kind of push that in and that should be sitting on it properly. Now we have to take the, uh, this is the, uh, what holds it down. And you'll see that there's a bit of a flat edge on four sides. And that flat edge is what you use actually to tighten it down. I'm going to put a little bit of, uh, just a little bit, just to kind of lubricate this again. I'm going to just use some Vaseline. That will lubricate this so it spins more freely inside there. And we'll put that inside. And get that to turn in nice. Okay, and once you got that in kind of hand tight, then you'll want to use your adjustable wrench or other plier. And I'm not going to go too, too tight on this. I want to strip it. But I am going to tighten it a little bit. So. There we go. That should hold it down. And you can see now I can still turn this to adjust the hot and the cold and up and down. And then the only other thing now is to put the, uh, the nice cover that uh, covers up that piece. And then of course, the only thing left to do now is you can see there was a on this there's a tiny little uh, hole here I don't see that hole on here but I guess that's going to be made and that's from right there you see where we have the little uh, set screw that's with an allen you're going to use an allen key that's this allen key and you're going to adjust that set screw which pushes in there's like a little point on it you can maybe see the point I don't know if you can see the point on there but it does have a, like a sharp point and that's going to push in and hold it. So I'm pulling it back right now so that we can slip it over and once we get that over onto here we'll kind of just turn it around until we find that square. There we go. So now we're right on. So once I've got that on I'm going to put my Allen key in here and I'm going to try to tighten that up. I can feel it getting tight. enough now of course yeah it won't come off and then the last thing is just to put that little tiny little I say that that's the hot cold thing so I know that my cold is on the right and the hot is on the left so I'm just putting that like that and I oh, again that's why I put this cloth here so we don't lose any parts so the hot's there and the cold's there I want to just line it up so that it's good and then just pop it in there we go. So that's it. That should work now. Let's turn the faucet off and let's go underneath and uh, I'll show you uh, underneath is where I have my... Uh... So underneath the cabinet we have the uh, shutoff valves for the hot and cold supply. So this side is the hot. I'll turn that on. That's on. I'll go on that side, turn on the cold. And we should be able to now have our faucet working again. And there we go. We got nice water faucet working again. And that's another fix around the home. Very easy to do. It saves us a faucet and didn't cost us anything because the parts were still under warranty. The faucet had a five-year warranty and uh, we had purchased this in like 2016, thereabouts. And so um, they were nice enough, kind enough to send us uh, 
two new cartridges, so I fixed this one, and I'll be fixing the other one. And I'm just gonna test here, and yes, I'm feeling the hot water coming on that side now. Getting nice and warm, so it's working good. And I'll turn this over to that side, and I've got my cold water. So wonderful. So only thing left to do now is probably just gonna have to clean the drain, the peat trap. So that's a little simple fix. What you're gonna do here is I'm gonna remove, um, I'm gonna remove, I'm gonna unthread this and unthread that and just pull the whole trap out, clean out the trap and put it back in. So thank you for, um, for watching and for, I hope this is, video will be helpful for you if you have a similar problem with a, a cartridge that ends up getting damaged and over time these will uh, uh, fail and you will have to replace them. You can buy these online, I think, I've seen a whole bunch of them, but you have to make sure you get the right part because this is a typical type of cartridge. They come in all different sizes, they, they're, they're used for showers. I'll show you the one I have in my shower. So this is the, the handle for the shower, same thing if I was to pull this lever, I don't want to do that because I don't want to get wet, but uh, you just pull this lever left, right, and it's the same kind of cartridge inside here, but I think this is a bigger cartridge and we thought we were going to be able to use that one, but it, it was too large, it wouldn't fit of course in that small single hole lavatory. So again, thank you for watching the video, I hope it was helpful and once again, the contact uh, for where I bought this was, uh, it was called Ad Waters Distribution Canada Inc. Um, they had an office at Jane Street. Um, I don't have a number here for them, but I should put that, uh, I'll put that on the video here so you can contact them. But um, if you just let them know that uh, this particular Aquabrass product, if it was within five years, uh, then it should be covered under warranty. So good luck with your repair and hopefully this is uh, going to help you. Thanks for watching.